Think I can fit through this door? I don't think so. I'm definitely not gonna pet you. Let's build a house. This house was built in 1966. Typical colonial that you see around here. This was the formal dining room. Closed off from the kitchen, just its own kind of separated Pretty room, typical. Which is pretty typical. Right. And then this is the kitchen. Not really functional. Little half-assed peninsula. Yeah, which uh, you can't sit at. You can see that the window's original. You have no corner cabinet. No. You've got appliance, appliance. That's it for counter sink. space, right, nothing. So there's not a ton of counter space. No. Again, it's pretty closed off from the dining room. Everybody wants a bathroom in the kitchen. Gross. This room was the original living room, and this was the end of the original house. So the first floor had kitchen, closed off dining room, fireplace living room, and then sometime, probably in the early 80s, they added on this room. This window should be flipped this way, so the sash slides up and down, not left to right. The windows that slide like this are more money. They probably just said, we'll just do this to save money, whoever did it. The only heat in here is electric heat, so it's kind of like an afterthought. It's not tied into the heating system with the rest of the house. And then the way this addition was put on, it is literally a living room next to a living room. And the kitchen is on the complete opposite side of the house. It's a poorly laid out space. The house was built in the 60s. We're gonna bring it up to the way people are living now in 2019 happening. Oh, it's definitely happening. Me and Anne Marie were here yesterday and we made some executive decisions. Okay. The beam looks pretty sick now. Oh, it looks awesome. It's like, what a difference with this fireplace gone. So we still have to frame the fireplace on that back wall. And do we have yes. dimensions for that? 19, 19 inches and a half plus two and a half, right? And then what are we at right now with that call? Because the only thing I'm worried about is if that call has no money. If that one, oh, by the fireplace? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They like the ceiling, right? No, we're going to keep the ceiling because I assume we can't take down the collar tie, right? But that's what I was wondering. I'm going to assume, based on the spacing of these collar ties, that these need to stay. If we keep the ceiling open on either side, you're going to have this collar tie just like right in front of the fireplace. But you're also bringing the fireplace out another like 10 inches. Let's get the fireplace framed and then I can Yeah, let's get the fireplace first and then you go over that one. Yeah. I have an idea. Let's get the fireplace framed first, I'm ready, yes. and then we'll figure it out. That's a great idea. Yeah. Me and Amory talked about this yesterday. It's taking you so long. We've been here waiting. I'm throwing stuff in the dumpster. Sorry. Do you have Comcast? Girl Scout cookies? Actually, I shouldn't say that. Everybody wants Girl Scout uh, cookies. I like the bench seats. Like, over here. And then the built-ins. Oh yeah, we really couldn't fit a piece of crown, huh? We did like a cove molding or something, like something small up there. See, what we failed to have Dave do when we did our house is make our shelves adjustable. He asked me, I didn't want them adjustable. She's such a pantry snob. You did ask. And I was like, no! Susan! Again? What are you doing? I forgot lots of things. So you know how we're gonna have the wood come down there. Can we take that same wood and do a light box because it's not a high ceiling? And we'll just do a one long box. Did that glass come for the doors? Yes. So what would it take to do those same doors here and do double doors? I thought we were just taking that door off. That door's not staying there anyway. We have to change it anyway. No, we Call. don't have to change it. It was gonna be no door. How do you do a closet with no door? I'll figure this door out. Where's the tape? It's easy to just say, just change this door and do this. That's a lot of work. I'll take care of that. It's gonna look so good. This house was like a teenager going through puberty, and now it's blossomed into a full-blown man. This house had a real layout problem. We called it a Frankenhouse. You had the kitchen on one side of the house, the dining room was closed off, and then you had the weird addition on the opposite side of the house, and the bathroom was in the middle of the first floor. Right. So we took down the original fireplace, mm -hmm. opened up the whole house, relocated the kitchen, we relocated the bathroom, the they fireplace. Thought we were they thought we were crazy. They like, did. you want to move our crazy. kitchen from here to here? Like, yup, but they, they had, still went with us. Well, they had people come in who wanted to keep the kitchen where it was right. and just open it to the dining room. Yes. But that didn't solve the problem of, Go. number one, the bathroom in the middle of the house, and number two, it didn't solve the problem of you have this big, beautiful room so this, not really being used. So really. this ceiling was already here. This is the original ceiling. Original ceiling, but it wasn't this color. We changed the color and made it look a little bit more modern. They did like the fireplace, we just didn't like where it was, so we took that fireplace down and put a new fireplace here. That fireplace was just weird because they had framed an addition onto that, so it was just in between the rooms, but it wasn't 
usable. So now that fireplace got pushed out to this far wall, the house, the outside wall, and opened this whole thing up. We added some built-ins, and then we took that same stain that we put in the ceiling and put it on the bench tops, and then we also used that same stain on the mantle. I think I lost sleep over this fireplace. What you have here are colletized. These were structural, so we could not take them out. And they're ugly. They and are. They were in my way. They were in, in the front way. Of my beautiful fireplace. So we had to figure out a way to build the fireplace and not make it look weird. So that's why this is stained up here. This is stained so that when you walk in, this doesn't stand out. So this is gonna kind of blend against that. And then we painted the rest of this gray. This actually matches the kitchen island color. Makes sense? Does to us. And that's all that matters. This is now a room they'll use every day. Before right. it was a room they did not use, period. They didn't want to lose it, so they used it. So we relayed it out to use it instead of losing it. <laughs> Right. I think I follow. And we took that same stain, we did our custom light box over this huge island huge. with seating on two sides. This is cool because you can be here, you can, if there's a game on or something, if there's people here, there's there's plenty of room here for a lot of people to sit and then Tons also be in that room. There wasn't any great place to put the refrigerator. That's one of the biggest challenges in a kitchen. Right. It would right. be great if they had refrigerators. So we try to bury them in walls. So I could tuck them under the counter and we have to look at them. Well, no, we, we can't do like that. We could have like six of them. We can't do and that. Then it would make no, it work. we're not going to do that. So we can't. We put it here so it's kind of out of the way. So we stole the hallway so that we could tuck the fridge away. And then in here we have counters on both sides. You'll never guess what room I'm in. <laughs> the bathroom? Eh. Well, they got counters on both sides. They got shelves, which they wanted, so they can basically throw everything in here. They got these custom doors with the frosted glass. These doors match the island again. We did frosted glass so you can have your mess in there. Nobody can see it. They can just say, oh, what's behind those doors? And just frosted flakes need frosted glass. You don't want to see them. So you have your beautiful island to hang out, and you have an actual working island over here. This works because there's no seating at this island. It's just a working island, so nobody's going to kind of sit here and be on top of The sitting island is over there. And then we ended up putting the stove on the back wall. I love this backsplash too. We did two different tiles with a couple windows around it. We also built in a bookcase here on the end of the island too. That's right, she had a lot of cookbooks. That was part of her request, so mm -hmm. we built that into the side, so now she has a nice place to store all the stuff, which is actually a really good idea. Right. And then you make your way over here to the dining room area. Now, day to day, they're not gonna sit here and eat. They're all gonna be hanging out over here at the island. But when they do have a company, they have an extra place for people to sit. You got a nice light fixture here. You're still kind of in the action. You can still see what's going on. Yeah. It's not like so, it's not so removed and now they're closed off on the other side of the house. And this is where the bathroom used to be. That's right. You know what? Where did I put my shoes? Oh, in this awesome mud room over here. They actually use the back entry more than they use the front entry, so that's why we decided to put the mud room back here. So these benches also have the same stained oak as benches around the Correct. fireplace, the family room ceiling, the kitchen ceiling, and the mantle. So after we kind of fit these things into the space, we had a little bit more space left over, so we have a pretty good sized storage closet behind us, which is nice to have, because this First of all, it didn't have a ton of storage before. And we put the bathroom here too. So this half bathroom used to be where the dining room is, and now we were able to fit in a full bathroom. This is essentially the bathroom that all your guests use because it's on your main level. Well, all the so, guests are gonna see you too. Right, so that's what I mean. So this is kind of your show-off bathroom, your, your powder room, whatever people want to call it. You want this to be like the, hey, look at me, you know, bathroom. So if you're on the toilet, this is pretty nice to look at. <laughs> this is what you get to look at. So it's pretty tile. And we ended up doing their upstairs bathroom too. This bathroom was a little bit smaller initially, so we kind of stole a little bit of space from the bedroom next to it. Because the toilet was right here and the vanity was right here, so when you came in, this was super tight. We were able to get a double sink in here. It was either a double sink right. or a window. Not having the window, we also put more lighting in here so it doesn't right. feel so dark. And the tile we did in here was kind of fun, mm -hmm. um, but we also did this cool pattern tile on the niche in the shower. Yeah, I like so that. that. It was a long project. This project was started in the winter. So obviously there's a problem with the deck because there's no step down. I saw that. That's the first thing. It's been a run. I mean, they, they talked with other contractors and they people told them that they could live here during the renovation and we were pretty adamant that they can't. Oh, no bathrooms. They had no bathrooms, no kitchen, and just the sheer amount of dust and everything. It's long for us, long for them, but we all have that common goal of making it, the house beautiful. It just makes more sense now. Somebody had thrown an addition on and didn't really think it out, but now it makes a lot more sense. One of our former clients who referred them to us had come by here the other day and they had sent us a text like, we just saw what you did to the house. Amazing. <laughs> like, I was Thank like, you. text me again. Tell I was me like, again. Wait. I was like, are you sure? Like, what else? Like, besides, <laughs> Tell me, yeah, like yeah, magnificent, you you like, brilliant, like, yeah, keep going. <laughs> I'm all ears. And now they can get settled in in their new digs and mm -hmm. uh, get back to the new norm. That's it.
and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs> like literally, that's it. We're done. Yeah, like that's. Yeah. Yeah.